Hey guys, Joe Kulas here once again for K Tactical. So uh, after I did the review for this guy, I actually got some people asking uh, about the Chip McCormick makes just a little bit. Now, uh, right off the back, uh, they make these obviously in many different colors. They got your blue, your just uh, steel, your nickel, your chrome, all that fun stuff. And they also have many different varieties of them. So make sure you're checking out exactly which one you're buying if you're buying a specific style. But Chip McCormick is known for making a lot of custom stuff, obviously, if you've ever looked them up at all. Anyways, though, uh, the mag alone is pretty standard. 1911 mags aren't anything really new. The 1911 has been around for literally 100 years. Now, obviously there is a couple custom aspects. And what do I mean by that? Uh, when you look at, I got the two other 1911 mags that I have here. Uh, they have a fairly simple and standard style follower. Fairly simple. Uh, they use kind of a weird two-part thing. And it's very, very interestingly set up. Now, again, it looks weird. It's not really that much weirder. I'm just going to kind of load around or so so you guys can kind of see how that works. It's kind of weird. Whoop, trying to do this over the camera too, so it's a little weird, guys. So, when coming out, it's kind of, kind of weird to me. So, uh, the setup wise is actually good. It, you can't complain. Uh, it's fairly smooth for reloading. Uh, except obviously at the angle is that it's kind of weird to do. Besides that, uh, yeah, it's like your standard magazine. Uh, nothing too specific to it or special. Uh, it is very, very smooth. It does drop out of the mag well. Extraordinarily easy compared to these two. Uh, again, not that these don't come out hard. They, they come out pretty easy. This thing, because of the finish, it just slides right out every time. It's just like, whoop. So... Uh, again, besides that, uh, not, nothing too major. You have your standard holes going down, your holes going from side to side. This, uh, as most can tell, probably it is shiny, might be hard to see. It has it marked, though, per round, so you know how many rounds you have left. And it obviously as well has the very flat door, so or plate, as many people call it. Uh, again, besides that, it's good. It uses a good spring, it uses a good follower. Nothing better you can really ask for, and especially uh, compared to, you know, that's kind of, if you have a nickel style one, compared to that ugly black sticking from the bottom, whether you have that or the extension, you obviously, now I don't have that, so that's kind of where you're stuck at. Uh, besides that, the packaging, as it says, it's like, uh, it's a match grade extra capacity mag and more or less it's just going through a lot of random stuff on here make sure you live fire it for reliability before you test your you know you're gonna carry the gun whatever make sure you basically use it first uh it tells you a couple things about if the cartridge is failure to feed check the following again more or less just troubleshooting because it is custom stuff unfortunately it might not work in every single gun with ease, mainly referring to clones. It basically just gives you some troubleshooting and some, this might be what's happening, this might be what's happening. Actually a fairly smart idea. Not the best selling point because people can make you think this is a cheap shitty product, but it's not. So, uh, price point on these are about 22 bucks. I'm not gonna lie, if you're buying it online, it is expensive compared to my Triple K mag, which was $5, and two other 1911 mags, which are normally around $10, $12. But you are paying partially just for that finish. So, uh, besides that, thanks for watching. I really don't think there's too much more to go in on this. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Feel free to sub, comment, like, all that stuff below, guys. And uh, take care.